All right, welcome back and good evening to you. Let's quickly catch you up on all things sports. Starting off with this, the Lions cricket team are still buzzing after winning the CSA One Day Challenge. The franchise is set to have its awards evening uh, this month as the local game tries to emerge from the considerable shadow of the COVID-19 pandemic. To tell us more about how well the Lions are doing in this regard, we're joined by Wanele Mgomezulu. He is the Lions Head of Marketing, uh, Commercial and uh, Communications as well. Wanele, good evening. Thank you so much for your time. Good evening, Nicole. Good evening to the viewers out there. Thank you for having me. So we've got the awards coming up on the 28th of May. And um, I saw that you guys are celebrating uh, the strides you've made towards addressing diversity, inclusivity, as well as um, equity for all. Firstly, I didn't get my invite. Let's just start there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell John I'm not happy. Check the emails. <laughs> Tell John I'm not happy. Yeah. Then secondly, just speaking to the points that I've mentioned now, I mean, we saw everything that has happened with uh, the SJN and everything that came out of there. So I think not only the Lions, but even other franchises are gearing towards ensuring that they do have uh, diversity, inclusivity, um, and equity for all. So what has the Lions done yeah. to ensure that you are on Thank that you part. for that. Uh, I think before we start, uh, condolences to one of our stalwarts that just passed on yesterday, Mr. Um, Ayop, and condolences from the Lions family, and just to say we're with you through these trying times. And uh, he was definitely a stalwart when it comes to diversity, inclusivity, and that. One of the legends that we actually look forward to, we held on to say where can we learn from, what can we do in terms of ensuring that we drive inclusivity and gender equality within our space and that bit. And from a union perspective, when the season started last season, you know, with the new domestic restructure, we actually took time of saying, what is our purpose? What do, what do we do as Lions cricket and that bit? And in there, bedded in there was to say, we have to be inclusive in everything that we're doing and that, whether it be deaf cricket, blind cricket, previously marginalized, going into different townships and communities and ensuring that we do create passion around the cricket and that bit. And central to it, obviously, women's cricket is actually pioneered and we had to drive it in the forefront to say it has to lead. I mean, we've seen the numbers worldwide where it actually does lead in terms of uh, the popularity and that. Talking about the women's cricket, um, in terms of the female teams uh, that, you, that you have, and not only you, but the other franchises, but obviously speaking for the Lions, in terms of their the, 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 the salary, are their salaries now, firstly, are they all getting paid? Number two, are their salaries up to par with what the men are receiving? Because that's an issue that was there across all franchises. First time in the history of the Lions Cricket Union that our lady started receiving contracts. So it's something that we're very deliberate and it's something that we will continue to address. Yes, the equality is still, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, but you know, we work very hard, especially in the last three years, just to secure some of the sponsors. I mean, we've got Imperial and a few guys, McDonald's, we've got Ellis as well. That's really now come to the fore to say we have to now be part of this change in this narrative and that. And starting with that, it then said it is time now that we recognize the women's cricket within that space and that. We've issued those contracts, and this is now the norm that we're hoping that it will continue going forward in that. And then the salary parity, including the media coverage. And for us, it actually started with the media coverage, where we have to put them in front as well. You know, whatever that we're doing, collapse everything. We are now one team that everything, when we go to, to, to the market out there, we're seen as one. And hence, we've rebranded to the Imperial Alliance. So we then say whether it's male or female. But for us, it's just Imperial Alliance that we're seeing in there. So back to the awards, I see that you guys are selling tickets. I want you to explain this to um, our viewers. I see you've got your um, 50 rand tickets. I'm not sure if that would qualify as like a stand ticket, but just explain that to me. And I also see that there's a ticket that's 850 rand, which is more for VIP experience. I assume it comes with a dinner. How is this working? Yes, and thanks for that. Um, I mean, the last two years, we've actually haven't seen most of our fans. We haven't engaged with them in there. And this is a perfect opportunity. And it's something that we waited very patiently for stadiums to open and, and unfortunately it opened just at the last few games of our guys so we've, we've then engaged with our partner Sun International and a few other, others as well where we've said let's bring in not just the corporate partners but our fans into this space and ensuring that 
Come and celebrate. Let's enjoy what the, the, the pride of Jersey seeks to celebrate in there. And not in, only in just the award side, but also looking at some of the initiatives that seek to say, what are we doing in terms of addressing some of the social ills, some of the challenges that the society is facing, and this being the gender-based violence, this being food poverty and that. And we've been at the forefront to say, we are understand, we're part of you, now in this celebration, let's all reflect, let's all be one team that seeks to say we are now being proud of being part of the city. So taking a look at the nominees, um, I see that you guys, which is great, you have uh, the men and women um, uh, at the awards ceremony, which is great. I want to touch on the Lions player of the season nominees. Before we talk about the, the, the player of the season, I see there's a few um, awards that I think uh, fans are used to seeing that we don't have right now. So the MVP, I don't see an, an MVP, I don't see player's player. And I think player's player is one of the biggest awards because that's your peer actually saying, you know what, pat on the back, you've done a great job. So I don't see player's player fans player as well of the year. So specifically with players player, is there a reason that you've done with our players player of the year this year? And then speaking to the nominees for the men's player of the, of the season nominees, this is tight. You guys have Sisanda Makala and Makala, when it comes to his bowling, he's just aggressive. He's something else. Yeah. Um, of course, we do have um, Grisa Hendricks here as well and Malusi Siboto. Siboto also, he, he has a different level of skill when it comes to um, he's, he's, he's bowling. So it's, it's really, really tight there. So it is a, f a full month campaign that we're rolling out and it's snippets of information that we're busy un unraveling. What you've seen there is stuff that we've just started packaging. We will be releasing the uh, fans uh, play of the season, so watch out for that. Okay. And soon after that, we'll definitely go out with players play and the, the MVP. And the, so there is definitely something that to say, how do we sustain this campaign? Because we've got almost three, four weeks building up to this and in there to say, how do we unravel and how do we tell the story? And noting that as well, we've got some of the greatest partners that have come on board as well, which will be unraveling. The likes of Drip, which we've just recently partnered with. We've got the Spear Wines and a few of those where there's some excitement that we're busy building. And this is the lessons we learned from Ocaspa, you know, building up and rebuilding the boxing brand. And, and to say the certain elements, the certain learning lessons that we can take from the building up to that. And then coming back to some of the players, I mean, I've probably watched each and every single game. And the players that you've, you've, you've touched on there, it was very difficult even for the selectors and that. The likes of Juan Olifir. If it wasn't for the Proteas, Juan would probably be the leader when it comes to the four-day. I mean, he was the leader in the four-day cricket season. And then he would then draft it into the test match as well as uh, some of the Proteas matches. So that's what compromised it. Malusi Siboto, you look at the economic rate, is something else, something to marvel. Not so long ago, I actually posted one match where he had five maidens, one wicket, and probably two runs in that bit. Riza, Riza is one of those that you can't write off. You can never write off. I mean, you guys saw it the last, uh, the last game where yeah. it was just a sheer class just to watch and how betting, it's, it was almost betting classes, betting 101. And that's, for me, waiting for the players of the year. It's going to be something else. It definitely is going to be. So there's a new T20. Yes. There's a new T20. And I want to just touch on a few things. Um, you know I can be spicy when I have time, but we need to talk <laughs> about this. So remember there was supposed to be the GLT20. Yeah. The GLT20, it ended before it even started, and there was an issue about a 1.8 million rand that was apparently never answered for, but okay, and that was that. Then we had the MSL, okay, and I think everybody then got used to the MSL. Yeah. We now have a new T20, which of course Cricket South Africa has said they're going to um, announce the actual name of the T20 when they have their official launch. But there's a few things that I see is actually similar to the, G, uh, to the, to the GLT20 because they said it's going to be privately owned, and that is exactly what was supposed to happen with the GLT20. The other thing they also said is they're going to allow at least up to four um, international players. Yeah. There also would have been a bigger pool of international players at the GLT20 versus what we saw at the MSR where it was more a mix of local players and like one international player in that team. So having said that, 
how does the Lions feel? And I know you guys have a positive take on, on, on almost everything, but how do you guys feel now about this new T20? Do you not think it might cause a bit of disruption because we've had the other T20s I've just mentioned? We've also recently had a, um, a domestic restructure when it comes to, to cricket. Um, the franchises have changed. So um, how do you guys feel about it? Won't it cause disruption? What's your thoughts? And that's the beauty of this game, that evolution is, change is inevitable, and we constantly have to adapt and see what is actually happening domestically and internationally in there. And the beauty about this one, we've got the, the, the other broadcasters come on board to say, we are willing now to showcase and to partner with you as Cricket South Africa in this journey that we're going to, which is a massive coverage. And the beauty about it as well, it's not only shown domestically, but it's now will be televised throughout probably the rest of the globe in there. And with that leverage alone, it then makes it easier for the private investors that are going to come through in there. And believe you me, there's a few that are interested. There's a few names that uh, you probably will know that will be revealed uh, in the next uh, few months. And this is something that will create some excitement, especially from a cricketing perspective. In there. How does that affect, sorry to interrupt you, Wanela, how does yeah. that affect the franchise, though? So now we have... Um, someone who comes in and they privately own uh, this team that is going to be part of the new T20. I think with the GLT20, one of the possible owners there would have been Shah Rukh Khan. Oh. And everybody knows who Shah Rukh Khan is, um, which is huge. Yeah. I think revenue-wise also, that is just amazing. But how does that affect the franchise? What does that mean for your involvement then as a franchise when there's now a privately owned um, um, T20 format? And these are your players that could be part of that as well. Uh, I think it's similar to MSL. I mean, if you look at the structure of the MSL, it's all the players go into a pool, and in there, it could, they could land up in any team, in any franchise in that bit. And in, these are the details that are currently being finalized between, obviously, the two parties that have come together to say, how will this work? And taking into account the international season. I mean, the first one is scheduled to, to play in January, which we already know that there is a tour, possible tour. So la later on, which is 2023, 2024, one of the things that they're working on is to free up some of the international guys that can participate within this structure in there. So for us, it's evolution. And in that evolution, how do we see, how do we all come together and make sure that at the end of the day, cricket definitely becomes the winner in that. And especially given where cricket has come from in the last few years in that bit. This is something that's much needed, something that will bolster and just put cricket right there with international standards. Well, we're going to have to leave it there for now. We have unfortunately run out of time. But thank you so much for coming through to um, uh, the studio. We're supposed to touch on the multi-purpose stadium as well, but luckily we recently had Jono here. So we, we had a bit of a chit-chat about that, and I think hopefully we'll, in the near future, um, um, call one of you here again. But thank you for coming. All the best to you and your franchise on the 28th of um, uh, May. That is uh, Wanelem Gomezulu from Lions Cricket, um, who is the head of the commercial and marketing department. We'll have more sport for you later. I'm